Hey guys, so I'm back from vacation and I have my haul from all the stuff I bought on vacation. Like I said before that I wasn't going to spend any money so I could spend money on vacation and stuff like that. So yeah, I have all the stuff I bought and I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to warn you real quick because um, the trip I went on was to New Orleans for the National Youth Gathering down there. So if you were there, go ahead and comment down below and tell me how awesome it was because it was pretty awesome, I would say. Um, yeah, I went to the ELCA National Youth Gathering in New Orleans with my church, and I was able to do some shopping while down there, so I'll just show you everything I got, because I was really excited, and yeah. So, I have a couple, like, really touristy things, um, a couple t-shirts that are that too, and so just some items that were, like, super touristy that I got, but, you know, you have to do that when you're in a fun place, so. Um, the first thing I got was a mask, and... Masks are very associated with Mardi Gras and with New Orleans, and the last time I was in New Orleans, I got a mask to match my room. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> I got this mask because it matches my room, um, not so much the orange, but the other colors really do, and it just hangs out on my shelf over there, and I really like it because it really reminded me of New Orleans. So this time I got another mask, and this one kind of matches the decor of my dorm room so it'll be kind of like a decoration piece in my dorm room um, in the fall so that's why I decided to get this one it's really pretty it's got like really lacy detailing and um, as you can see, see like sparkles there you go you can kind of see that it's it's really pretty and I think it would be really fun to do a masquerade makeup tutorial with this if you want me to um, I know our prom this year was almost a mas masquerade theme which <laughs> would have been really really cool um, but yeah I thought I got a mask and I was really excited about that. So, and you probably saw all this stuff right here. I have not unpacked yet. I got back like two days ago um, and it was super late at night. And then yesterday I was with friends because I haven't seen them for like nine days. So I hung out with friends and then, so I haven't really unpacked or done laundry or anything like that yet. So, um, the next thing I got were a couple keychains. I got some for friends, like one that says Bourbon Street on it and there's another Bourbon Street one. This one I got for one of my friends that says New Orleans Princess. Because she's kind of a princess, but that's okay. I'm kind of a princess too, so. And then I got this one for myself, and it says New Orleans, um, and it's splatter painted. I thought it was kind of cool. And a lot of you have been asking if um, my camera is backwards or something like that, and yes it is. It's like a mirror image. Um, that's the way my laptop is set up, so. I, I guess I could go in and change that, but I haven't yet, so. That's why words are backwards when you see them in here, so. Yeah, I got a couple keychains, and then for t-shirts, I got some New Orleans t-shirts, too. The first one I got was this gray one with some silvery lettering on it, and I thought it was really, really cute. Um, it fits really, really tight, because normally I wear a size small, but I had to go up to a medium in this, but... I thought it was kind of cute because it's not super like, ooh, New Orleans tourist t-shirt, but it's cute. I would actually wear it out. I think I could make it look cute and stuff like that. And this one is also a New Orleans one. It says 18 on it um, because New Orleans was founded in 1718, <laughs> in case you were wondering. I learned that on one of the tours we went on. And this one's really wrinkly because... I wore it, and the day that I wore it, it poured, absolutely poured, and we walked two miles in the rain, and we didn't have, like, umbrellas or anything because it wasn't supposed to rain, so it's a lot, oh, it's really wrinkly, and it needs to be washed, and then the back says New Orleans 18, big easy, um, I was kind of confused about this because this would look like this would be the front, and then the 18 would be on the back, but it's not that way, but I still think it's cute, so, and then the last one I got was more of, like, a, um, like a, actual fashion type t-shirt but it still says New Orleans on it. It says New Orleans and it's got a picture of the French Quarter on it and it says French Quarter down on the bottom and it's loose fitting scoop neck top and it's really cute on. It looks like something you would buy at Forever 21 except it was in kind of one of their um uh one of the shops that I got the shirt in so just kind of like a tourist shop but I thought it was really cute. They also had like sweatshirts that were like this and I almost got one but I decided on the t-shirt instead and this was, this is a small, size small too so yeah. And then I also went to a like, I don't know if it's a local boutique but it was a boutique down there that me and my friends went into and they had a sale rack of all the clothes on that sale rack were $20 so 
the first thing I got on that rack was this tank top and it's inside out. <laughs> it's just a hot pink racer rack tank top but it's got some piping on it if you can kind of see. It's kind of wrinkly too. This is what happens when you just throw stuff in your bags. It's got a seams that go through it which make it more interesting and more flattering and the store was called Wish so I don't know if that was just a New Orleans store if they have other ones because I've never seen one before but yeah, it's just like a pink tank top, and I thought that was cute. And that was on sale for $20, and this one was also on sale for $20. It's like a um, heather gray and yellow striped tank top, not tank top, t-shirt, and it's very, very loose fitting, and what I really liked about it was the tie at the bottom. Like, it came like that. I thought it was really cute. It's just, it's just very loose and kind of boyfriend looking and just very comfortable looking and I think it would actually be kind of cute with sweatpants but you could also wear it with jeans and kind of dress it up a little bit. So I really like this. This was also on sale for $20 and it was originally $30. So yeah. And then the last thing I got, oh I was so excited about this. This is like your standard little black dress. It's very wrinkly. I'll have to iron this. Um, but it's just sweetheart black satin um, short. It's got cute pockets in it. And sorry it's so wrinkly, but yeah, this was on the sale rack for $20. And I was so excited to find this because I'm rushing sorority this um, year, on this fall. And I know they have a lot of black dress parties and stuff like that. So I figured this would probably be a good investment. And it fit me really, really well. And I really liked it. And it was originally $60 and I got it for $20, which is a really good deal. So yeah, and ex like, again, excuse the wrinkles, I'll iron that out or get it dry cleaned or something, so, yeah. And the last place I went was Lush, and I was, we walked past the Lush, and I was talking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a Lush down here, and all my friends on the church trip were like, what's Lush, and I was like, you've never heard of Lush before, and they didn't, I took them in there, and they each bought like 20 things, I swear, so I already used one of the things I bought, but I'll just kind of tell you, I already, I used a bath bomb and they gave me this nice little Lush Times thing. So maybe I can find it and I'll show. Oh, it's right here. I hope it's the right page. I bought this little bath bomb right here. It's the one that looks like a butt honeybee. And it's actually called Honeybee. <laughs> it's called Honeybee. And it's a caramel toffee bomb. And it smelled really good. And it was a bath bomb. And it all fizzed up. And it was really cool. So I did that the day I got back. Because we got back late. And I decided to take a bath before I went to bed. And it was really relaxing. And I really liked it. And then the next thing I got was a, another bath bomb. And this is the pink bath bomb. And it's super cute. And it smells really, really good. And it's got these cute little flowers on it. And I've had one of these before. And I really liked it. So I got that. And then, of course, I got this. This is the Comforter Bubble Bar. It's so big. It smells like the Rockstar soap, if you've ever smelled that before. So it's very candy and very candy smelling and sweet smelling. It smells super, super good. And it makes your bath water like, oh, foamy and bubbly. And I love a ton of bubbles in my bath. So, yeah, that's good. And then I also got a little chunk of Rockstar soap. I've had this before. It makes me want to eat it. Like, literally, I want to eat this. It smells like cotton candy. And I got uh, 0.345 pounds, and it was $13. So, I was really excited about this. And this was the first time they gave me free samples, and I was so excited. They gave me two samples of Turkish Delight shower smoothie, which is kind of like a shower gel type thing, except it's a smoothie. <laughs> I don't know. It smells pretty good. Not what I'd normally go for, but it smells pretty good, and I'll definitely try it out because, I mean, it's a free sample. Why not? So, yeah, that is everything I bought while in New Orleans, and I am going to do a, um, tr what was in my travel makeup bag because I brought a lot more makeup than I should have, and it was a church trip, so I obviously shouldn't have brought as much makeup, but I think I'm going to throw that into the video that I do and say, you know, I brought this, but I didn't actually use it, so maybe that'll be helpful for some people or something, so that'll be my next video, so look out for that, and I'm also planning on doing some, like, packing for college videos, because I'm kind of stressing out about packing for college, so maybe I can throw in some helpful tips or whatever, so, yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later, bye.